Okay, we're going to uh, tie a fly. It's called the Tippet Tip Spider. The very silly name. Uh, the reason I want to show you this one is, well, number one, it's a fantastic pattern for especially coastal trout. Uh, when I say coastal trout, I'm talking about cutthroats. Uh, well, mostly cutthroats, I guess you could say. And it's a fantastic spider pattern, which which always worked well for cutthroats. But uh, uh, this one's on a Shumikov tube. And it's a weight forward tube, so big, fat, plunk of weight. Okay, we'll just melt the back end. And if you're familiar with Shumikov tubes, as they were, they were the original hybrid tube, a tube that incorporated plastic and metal, where you're tying actually on the plastic. Okay, so we've got the ridge. Now for this fly, about an inch of plastic I'm going to leave on. The reason I wanted to show you this pattern, like I said, because it's a great fly, but also uh, we were lucky enough to converse with uh, Yuri Shumikov. I can't say I actually met the man, but he uh, we emailed back and forth several times when we uh, when the Canadian Two Fly Company was first starting out uh, with selling tubes. And of course, we ended up carrying Shumikov tubes. And uh, when I sent Yuri one of these, he loved it. He didn't get a chance to use it before he passed away. He uh, he passed on about ten years ago now, I think. But he uh, he definitely liked the, the uniqueness, I guess he said, of the fly. Let's let's take it away. I'm gonna use red thread or orange. Uh, I'll stick with red today, I guess. Now, the Shumikov tubes, this is the weight forward version, so it doesn't come with the slots that you can paint, but you can use any Shumikov tube with this. In fact, this pattern, you can use any hybrid tube. Well, for that matter, I guess you could use any kind of tube, but I developed this one on the Shumikov. So I'm going to make a bump of thread in front of the tube. And the unique thing about these tubes is you don't, I mean, you can, but you don't really tie on the metal part. Everything's done on the plastic, so I'm just making a bump here. So you can see I'm not taking my thread back over there. The tube is actually just bare. In fact, the body of the fly, I guess you could say, is the tube. Okay, so nothing's getting tied on here. All right, I'm going to start with, uh, well, it's called a tippet tip spider, so you probably guessed it, golden pheasant tippet. Okay, now, I've, I've done this fly in four different colors. Uh, this is the orange version, simply because I've got orange. Uh, you know, you can do, we've done a chartreuse one, where you've got the dyed chartreuse tippet feathers, and I think we've got a red one and pink one as well. But we're going to stick, stick to the original here. So I'm going to find, from the neck here, probably a medium-sized feather. Because, we're, well, you'll see exactly why it's a medium-sized. I don't want to have the fibers way, way far back here. So a medium-sized golden pheasant tippet. I'll just trim the bottom, a few feathers. We'll pull down from the top. Okay, so we got a nice, nice kind of pull out pattern. We'll tie in from the tip. And this is what Yuri thought was kind of unique. He said he hadn't seen uh, Golden pheasant used like this before on any of his tubes, anyway. And you can only get about three or four wraps out before you get the really thick stem. So I'll tie this off and I'll probably do another feather as well. I'll pull back all the fibers. Okay, I'll go one more medium sized feather. Again, pull back the fibers, find the tip. Tie in by the tip and then wrap again. And again, when it gets too kind of, the stem gets too fat to, to wrap without you feeling it might break, that's when you stop. Okay, pull back. You can see you've got all these, all these fibers with the black spots on them, and that's kind of what I, I think attracts the the trout anyway. 
Hey, now this, this pattern is just simply a matter of layering different feathers. So we're going to go in with a white hackle now. Hey, and not a huge one. I'm going to go from the base. And we're going to wrap forward with that. You could use schlop on this as well. Um, we just have white hackle handy. And after the white, we're going to put in. I'm going to go with this bright orange schlop, and we just dyed this a couple weeks ago. Got a really nice bright color to it, so I'm going to, I'm going to stick with that. You're going to find kind of a medium sized feather. I don't want any fuzzy parts at all, so I'll get rid of that. And you're tying it in by the base and going backwards again. So again, this is just like a layering fly. You're laying a feather. And then after we lay in the orange and the white, or probably the white and the orange here, you can see that bright orange is a nice color. We'll tie off and I'm gonna add just a touch of flash. This is just pearl crystal flash. We'll just put a few clumps on top, and spin it, and you put a few more clumps on the bottom. Hey, now it's simply a process of reversing the three steps we just did. So we'll go in with a white hackle again. Trim the base, wrap forward, oh whoops, never mind, I got ahead of myself here. Before the white hackle, we forgot to go with more tippet. Now before we went with stuff from halfway down the neck, now we're going to go from stuff near the top of the neck so we get the black shooting out the back a little further than before. It's a nice, nice bigger one. I'll trim the bottom and then pull down the tip. Okay, so again, you got a nice feather there we can tie in from the tip. And just like we did at the tail on the back of the fly, we're going to wrap. And just pull it all back. This is when you take a look again to see, you know, do you think you have enough tip it? And I don't think I do, so I'm gonna go one more. You can probably see now why too why I at use the Shumikov weight forward tube just because it's such a such a big weight. There's a lot of feather to pull down on this fly. Okay, we'll just tie in this last tip it. and pull it back okay, now we go in with our white hackle like we did a minute ago prematurely go white And then we're going to go one more time the orange schlop, and this time we're going to try and get a longer one than we did before. A lo longer fibers, I should say. Okay, so 
Cut the base. And you're just pulling it back as you go because this time now that it's the head you want it to flow back. Tie it off. And last step on this is, and you know, it looks like a mess, it honestly does. But anybody who's fished any kind of spider patterns know that they work. Right. So we'll just add jungle cock to this. One side and then the other. You can see it's 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 nice to have a really tiny head on these two. Okay, we'll just whip finish. Whoops. And we'll trim the head like we usually do. Cut it small and give it a burn. Okay, and we'll glue it, of course. And you can see, especially if we zoom in on this one, the look you get from the the tippet, the golden pheasant tippet, really makes a nice kind of variegated black and gold color. Very nice fly for coastal trout. And one Yuri Shumikov thought was interesting which is, is pretty big words, I think, from a tube-tying guy that was very influential. That's it.